And some drivers had to be rescued from flooding on the DVP. For more on this and on how emergency officials have been responding today, I'm joined by Toronto Deputy Fire Chief Jim Jessup. And Chief Jessup, thank you so much for joining us. Um, let's start with uh, Toronto Fire. They said they've been responding to an extremely high number of rescues due to this flooding. Also, people trapped in elevators. What was the level of response today? Can you give us a sense of what it's been like? Yeah, and thank you very much for having uh, having me in on behalf of Toronto Fire. Um, yeah, it was it was a busy day today, uh, without question. So uh, we're still going to be tallying up our numbers, but I can tell you we have responded to more than 500 uh, emergency incidents uh, since 6:30 this morning. Uh, during the height of the storm, we were averaging between 70 to 100 calls for emergency service, which is approximately two to three times our normal hourly volume. Um, a variety of calls, as you as you said, we dozens and dozens of elevator rescues when buildings lost power. Uh, we had numerous vehicle collisions. Uh, we actually had a number of fires. Uh, you know, we had a number of fire alarms activated because of pressure drops and, and sprinkler systems, and uh, with the power failure and, and a number of, of uh, uh, water rescues. Uh, you know, you've referenced the one where uh, we showed up and there were a number of people on the hood of their car. I was personally at the uh, the rescue uh, on the Don Valley where uh, we rescued a dozen uh, people from their cars mm -hmm. in the Don Valley as the water was rising. Uh, the crews did an incredible job. They were able to uh, uh, get out to the uh, water before it became too swift, uh, provided um, uh, devices to the occupants, set up a rope system to uh, you know lead them out of the water and then another rope system up the embankment, uh, up a ladder and then uh, to the uh, Dundas Street overpass. Happy to report no injuries. Uh, there was just uh, another uh, water rescue concluded about an hour ago where there was a building in West Toronto um, where the water level was uh, described to be up to waste level. So we had to send in one of our rescue boats with special, specially trained firefighters off one of our squads to go in and, and rescue a number of people inside that building, um, two by two, and happy to report they have all been removed. So very busy day for our staff. Uh, I would like to say two things. Number one, uh, thank you to the public. Um, you know, we have been delayed uh, in a number of calls given the call volume. Uh, obviously, our number one goal during these types of, uh, uh, you know, em emergencies or extreme weather events is to triage our responses and our resources based on life safety risk, uh, which is what we did. So we're still clearing calls, but we are we are basically back to normal. So if you had called for, for example, water coming into your basement and there was no risk to your life, that would have been certainly on a lower priority call as opposed to, you know, people stuck in the Don Valley. So, uh, and the number two, uh, the work done not only by the firefighters uh, and our incredible team at our communication center of the day that handled hundreds of calls, but uh, our collaboration with our other emergency service partners, Toronto Police, Toronto Paramedics, numerous city divisions and the Office of Toronto Emergency Management. So busy day. Uh, but again, this is something we are prepared for. We train for it. We've learned from other extreme weather events. Um, and uh, certainly, uh, you know, I think the results uh, show that we were ready. Yeah, extremely busy day for all your crews. And uh, can you give us a sense of where things stand right now? What are your crews uh, prioritizing? I know you touched on that a little bit. Yeah, so right now uh, I, I spoke to our communication centre about half an hour ago and uh, we basically have returned to normal. We have a lot of tired crews, to be very honest, right now that are, uh, you know, um, uh, rehabbing right now. Uh, a number of calls that I was listening to on the radio, both from a medical uh, response perspective and a fire perspective in buildings that had no power. Our crews, along with paramedic crews, were walking up 18, 20 flights uh, with their equipment, with their bunker suits on, in this humidity and heat to get to people. So, uh, you know, our crews are, are professional. Uh, they're well-trained. Uh, they are incredibly um, adaptive uh, adaptive to these situations, uh, as were our call takers and dispatchers today that were, you know, flooded with calls, but uh, were professional and calm and triaged the calls and made sure that those that needed us the most um, we responded first.